It's your boy lagging 24 coming at you with some Black Ops 3 Zombies. What's up, every everybody? What's going on, you guys? Welcome to Darice or the Giant. I will call it both several times because I'm an idiot. But it'll be Darice. It's Darice. Let's not kid ourselves. The Giant is Darice. And you guys have been begging for me to show some footage of this on the channel. So let's just do a regular playthrough of it. Challenges will come, my friends. I've already got a couple picked out for Shadows of Evil that I cannot wait to try. We'll do some on here as well. But the first thing you're going to notice about the map is it's beautiful, snowing, and everything looks all sexy in 60 FPS. Oh, PlayStation 4, I love you. And look at the back of the map here. You will see the giant robot head being constructed from Origins. Its body is down there and everything. Looks like we're playing as Rick Toffin, which will be fun. I'll try to explain some of his dialogue. Right now, he's interrupting me talking. But uh, if, if he says some stuff later on, I'll tell you what he says. Now, there's a couple of cool things you can do in here. Obviously, the fly trap is one of the Easter eggs. I've got a video of that up on my channel. You guys feel free to check that out. I'll probably link it at the end of this video. If you want to see how to do the fly trap. Although, I'll probably end up doing it in this gameplay. So, it probably will not need to be that linked at the end of the video we'll link something else never mind you can also melt the snow and reveal a hidden percocola machine which will either be stamina up or it will be uh dead shot daiquiri dead shot daiquiri yeah i think so um so that's a couple of cool things you could do on here that you couldn't do on the first one so they've definitely changed it in that sense and like i said it's snowing it just looks wonderful it's like a winter wonderland with zombies god it's so loud in my ears it's so loud i don't care let it let your voices rain down on me, zombies. So I've, I've been just in love with Black Ops 3 zombies. This has been so incredible, guys. Finally new zombies. Finally some cool maps. Lot to do on Shadows of Evil. Here's your classic zombies if you like classic zombies. Hopefully you got your hands on the giant. I know it's specific to what you ordered. Uh, so hopefully you got it. If you're still stuck on last gen, kick back, get your popcorn ready. I'll take you on a magical ride. Don't you worry. Uncle Laggins got you covered. The zombies have like, I think those are green eyes, maybe? I don't, I'm colorblind. They're probably yellow. They're probably yellow, but they kind of look green. Oh, this is insta-kill. Okay, let's not be an idiot. Let's not be an idiot. So we're not doing a challenge, like I said. We're just going to play a little bit. See what we can get done. If I can get monkey bombs, I'll do the melting of the snow Easter egg. But uh, I've been having a hell of a time getting monkey bombs. I actually streamed this last night this is not a stream replay this is different and on stream you can ask anybody that was in stream i guarantee collectively between two matches i spun the box a hundred times and could not get monkey bombs just couldn't get them had to have been a hundred times and i'll explain just kind of how zombies works as we play through this because it is a little different than the way it used to work with the new xp system and i think it's a perfect addition i love the xp i love the you can earn attachments for your guns and anytime in the future when you buy that gun off the wall or get it out of the mystery box it's going to have the attachments you've added onto the gun it's going to have camo that you've added onto the gun so the gun the gun's going to be specific to how you like to play now in order to get a gun that's going to let you add upgrades to it and stuff you actually have to play with that gun if i play with this gun long enough eventually i'm going to progress the gun through several levels and I will be able to add attachments and camo to it and things like that. But the gun won't even be available until I rank up my zombie level to a certain level. So if you rank up, let's say from one to two, that's going to unlock a certain gun that you're going to be able to upgrade. Then you have to play with that gun and earn attachments and things for it. Oh my God, zombies. What's the matter with you guys? Stop. Why is it so crazy on round four? This is enough, zombies. I've had enough. Chill. I'm going to use the rest of this pistol ammo. You gotta calm down here, get to a safe spot. I'm just gonna burn through this pistol ammo, then we'll buy something. We'll buy something. Fear not. I've got it all under control. I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm just gonna die. It's fine. It's fine. It's my first playthrough. It's not. It's clearly not. But it's my first time putting it on YouTube. So let's just pretend like if I make a mistake, that's okay. I don't want that nuke. Still gonna burn through some of this ammo. Although, ooh, I hit it. I knew I was gonna back into it. Look at how they catch on fire. Look at that. It's so cool looking. We gotta go. We gotta get a gun. 
Gobble gum. We'll go through that a little bit. Also, it'll happen at some point. We're going to earn something called uh, Liquid Divinium at some point in this gameplay. And that's how you go to Dr. Monty's factory and you spend your Liquid Divinium and try to get like rare gumballs that you can't earn through ranking up. When you rank up, you also can earn weapon kits like I was explaining or you can earn gumballs. But you cannot earn the mega ones, the mega rare ones and stuff like that. Those you have to spend your Liquid Divinium on. And I have a video on that on my channel. In fact, that's the one I'll link at the end of this video. So if you're unfamiliar with it, go check it out. Now this gun, the VMP, I've obviously been able to upgrade and add some attachments on. It's got the red dot sight. And it's got the cool Contagion camo, I think it's called. So I've done a little work with this one. It's a good starting gun to kind of mess around with on zombies. It's worth noting, though, on Darice, the perks, the perk locations do change. So each time you play, you're going to have to figure out where all the perk colors are. But right now, it looks like we have a uh, quick revive just back in that room there. We're going to take a look here in a second. Because we actually have a good amount of points for the round we're on. And we're going to go find some perk colas There we go. I just ranked this thing up. And as you can see, I've unlocked an attachment for it. It just popped up on the right-hand side. And I got XP for it. So we're, we're progressing, guys. We're doing things. If I actually hit pause, you can see down at the bottom of the screen, uh, next level, I need 16,000 more XP. And I'll be level 28 in Zombies. Which is cool. I don't know what happens when you prestige. I am looking forward to finding that out. Let's spin the box. See if we can get something good. You know, I'm going to take this. Look at the ammo on this thing. 50 in the magazine, 350 in reserve, and it's an SMG. Are you even serious right now? Crazy. So we got Speed Cola here. You can drop down and get that 100. Loose change. Loose change hype. And I love that the gumballs are in this map and in the other one. Uh, it's great. Now, anything you do on this map will transfer over to Shadows of Evil. So if you unlock a gun and are able to upgrade it, it's not just for this map. It's going to be for all the zombie maps, even throughout DLC, I'm pretty sure. All right, so we've got Quick Revive there. Double tap here. Ooh, did you not give me any change? Maybe I have to look at it. Let's see if we can find Jug, guys. Could be over here where it originally is on the other maps. That's Mule Kick. So Mule Kick's on the map, in case you're wondering. There are five perks of... It. Don't take fall damage. Oh, my God. Which means Jug has got to be in there, I'm thinking. Might as well open up. Go ahead and get Jug. Dude, if I had taken fall damage there, I would have died. 100% would have died. Would not have been good. Now, we got our two base perks. Let's get a gumball. Try to explain to you how the gumballs work if you haven't seen any gameplay. If you have, just bear with me, guys. I just want to make this kind of a, a nice guide on this map. So, here we go. We have got something I just recently unlocked. Switch weapons and items uh, and use items faster. I think this also reloads faster too. So, I can see my weapon switch is really fast. I can use items faster. Throws out those grenades really quick. And that would work perfect for monkey bombs. Um, and this is going to last for three rounds. It's activated already. I also want to say that you can reload faster. Let's see. That seemed pretty normal. So, maybe that's not accurate. Maybe you can't. Yeah, no, that's normal reload. There's the, we'll have none of that. But that's this gumball. I have five gumballs in my pack, which means there's only five from this machine that I can pull out. Uh, there's one in there that I really, really want. So we'll keep spinning gumballs after three rounds is up. We'll, uh, I wonder if this is going to count as a round. Let's find out. Where's that last zombie? That zombie? I see him. I see him. Let's get him. Let's get him. And then I think what we'll do is we'll spend a couple of rounds here. I think we should get a dog round maybe. Right now, but then after that, we'll spin, which means my next, dang, we're going to use this gun by r the gumball really quick. But I think what I want to do is get a bunch of points together, and we'll go ahead and start linking these teleporters so we can do the fly trap Easter egg and get the new Annihilator pistol so you can see some game footage of that. Really cool Easter egg on the map here. Icarus, the plane from Mob of the Dead, has landed on top of this room here. It's not a dog round, by the way. I better be careful. Zombies are spawning. So no one's figured out if you need to do anything with that plane yet. If there's a giant Easter egg we need to accomplish on here. So far, there's the fly trap, which we all know from the original Darius. Uh, but they changed the locations of where the objects are you need to find. And you get a reward for completing it. And then also the melting the snow uh, to reveal the hidden Percocola Easter egg. Those are the two things that have been found so far. 
It's rumored. We're all hoping there's more to it on this map. I mean, what the hell is that plane doing there? And yeah, you can also find the plane in Shadows of Evil as well. I think it flies over the map at some point. Pretty neat. Look how fast you swap weapons with this gun. I like that. That'd be really helpful if we weren't on round six. <laughs> and we had like Mule Kick. To fly through all three of those guns really quick would be cool. And also if we had Monkey Bombs. God, I hope we get Monkey Bombs in this playthrough, guys. I really do. I really want to do that at the Easter Egg. I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys off. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now. What we need is a dog round, please. Go ahead and get it out of the way. Show everyone the Hellhounds. Let me look at the snow, guys. Look at it. The eclipse in the sky. Oh, it must be a dog round. Fetch me their bowls. Says Lagan out loud. Loudly. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you just stopped by. You saw this video somehow. And uh, you don't know what I'm all about. I pretty much do. Exclusive zombie footage on this channel. Zombie videos. Been doing them for years. I'm one of the few people that only cover zombies. I am going to change that up a little bit. We'll do some multiplayer this year. A little bit. We'll start a series called Lagging Through Multiplayer. We'll do a couple of topical commentaries. Probably about one a week. And stuff like that. But for the most part, this channel is like 100% zombies. And it's been that way for a long time. So if you're a zombies lover, think about hitting that subscribe button. I've got a lot of guides and tutorials about all the Black Ops 3 zombie stuff uh, that's been found so far. The main Easter egg has not been completed on Shadows of Evil yet. And it looks like it's going to be four player only. Boo. I really like doing things solo, but I'll get a team together and try to get some footage of that. And I'll be playing with other YouTubers as well. So if, if you're new, if you're new, go check out my content. Let me know what you think. And hook it up, man. Hit that sub button. We're on the road to 250,000. Getting close to 210,000 now. We're moving, baby. All right, so I think this is the last round with my gobble gum. Just fine. It wasn't really a good one for what I have set up right now anyways. So who cares? I just want to get some points. Together we get that uh, teleporter started linked up. Uh, a lot of zombies. Come on. There we go. And then, of course, sliding is the thing. Which is much better than dive to prone, surprisingly. Thought I was going to miss dive to prone. But I find myself able to get out of jams by sliding sometimes. It's pretty cool. I'm going to get stuck in here, aren't I? I sure am. Well, we're going to have to train in here now. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it went pretty well. Went pretty well. We're good. We're out. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Let's go ahead and link these things up. We're gonna open up Pack a Punch. If you're new to if you're new to the Giant or Darius, like I said, I'm gonna call it Darius a few times. It's just a habit, you know. And I think you're all fine with that. But if you're new, um, you have to link the teleporters to the mainframe. So just go stand on one of the teleporters. You've got 30 seconds to get back to the main one right here. You have to do this three times. Each time, it's gonna lower the door to Pack a Punch a third of the way until it's fully open. And each time you do this, it's going to spawn a red and power drop. Sometimes you can even get a free perk of cola. Let's find out. What are we going to get? A nuke. We don't need that. We're not trying to kill off our zombies. So there's, like I said, there's three teleporters. We'll go to the next one. Which is right up here. And ZC, CZ, ZB. ZB. Here we go. And race back. It's where it, Dr. Maxis is talking to us, telling us how much time we have left. Dr. Maxis also tells you during the flytrap Easter egg as opposed to Samantha. Uh, so it's kind of cool to listen to Dr. Maxis. Again, tutorial on the channel if you want to find out how to do it. But I think, like I said, we're going to do it now. So you might as well watch here. It's fine. So that's two out of three. We're going to spend a little money to get to this next one. Not much, though. Oh, what did it spawn? If that's a perca cola, we need to check. What the hell is that? Oh, it's double points. Not very helpful right now. But instead of letting it go to waste, we can at least kill one of these zombies and get some points. And him. Yeah, just one zombie left now. There we go. All right. Into this teleporter room for the last one. And then we'll have Pack-A-Punch fully open. And probably going to pack... A, you need a pack-a-punch gun to do this next step. I don't know if I want to pack-a-punch this weevil. Might as well, huh? We need, we need a pack-a-punch gun in order to start the Easter egg. So I would pack-a-punch the MR6 and turn it into death and taxes. 
But I don't think you can aim it through the fence to hit what we need to hit. So I think I'm going to have to do this one. It's fine. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll play around with the box and try to get the Wonder off too. Oops, killed the zombie. Pick that up. Pack a punch. I've not, I don't think I've pack a punched the Weevil. Hopefully it gets strong because the Weevil actually gets a little weak as you go along, but it's good for points building. The camo looks so good. It's, I can't really find a good spot for you guys to see it. It's pretty dark on this map. There we go. Looks sexy. I'm right, gonna go back over here. I'm pretty comfortable in this area, so we'll play right here. And if we double, I think we can double pack a punch this. So you're gonna see some really cool stuff when you double pack a punch. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll show you in a minute. Well, in a few minutes, we gotta earn some points. Then we're gonna do the Easter egg at the end of this round and get the new Annihilator pistol. What do you guys think of the Pack-A-Punch sound? Sounds like a Star Wars laser gun. I like it. I can dig it. I don't have a problem with it at all, but I have heard some moaning from the community, and they don't like it. So do you fall on the side of you like it, or you don't like it? Let me know. Well, come on, zombies. Come and get some. I know you're hungry. Richtofen wants to play. I really like training here for some reason. It's a little tight, and this gumball machine often kills me. So I probably shouldn't train here, but I like it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Because <laughs> that's I'm stubborn like that. Alright, let's go. Let's kill all of the things. Should get a good amount of points here. I don't want to kill them all. I think that's worth picking up. I don't think any other zombies are spawning in. Right, we're good, we're good. Alright, let's start the Easter egg. You guys ready for this? The flytrap Easter egg. Why do they call it that? I have no idea. But this structure back here was actually something that Hitler was trying to build in real life. Some sort of anti-gravity ring. So that's the uh, kind of the history to this structure back here. So you shoot that little button. Now let's play hide and seek. Rolls for her exact words. Dr. Maxis is now going to hide some items on the map that we have to find. A monkey bomb and two teddy bears. So the first one you can find is pretty easy. They're all really easy now that other people have found them for us. Thanks, other people. But the first one's right here in this furnace. You don't have to do these in any order, by the way. There's a furnace over here. It's in the back. You can barely see it. There is a monkey back there. Hey, you found one. I can hear her. Even now. Hey, you found one. He sounds very depressed right now. Poor Maxis. All right, the next one you can find over here by the power. And it's kind of hard to see, but there is a teddy bear up on top of right where I'm shooting. Right there. Oh, you found another one. There must be a purpose to this. And the last one's a little tricky, but uh, it's just a timing thing. I don't even know how somebody found this one. This one looks like this was probably the hardest one to find. But it's in this vat of liquid here. And you need to jump to see it. And even then, you can barely see it, but it's right in that water there. There, I got it. I see it. The beacon is lit. I know where and when you are. Sooner or later, I will find you. Together, we will ensure a better future for the children. Be sure, but I think the active ingredient brought your mind. Wait, what was I saying? All right, here we go. So in here now what? is the Annihilator pistol. And if you're a multiplayer guy, you definitely will notice this thing. It's the uh, same. It's a weapon specialist. Uh, weapon. It's a specialist. Nah, I think I said that right. You know what I'm trying to say. It's a weapon from the specialists within multiplayer. And it's got like 18 bullets. And you just put it away. Once it's out, it'll or once it's out of ammo, it'll switch back to one of your normal guns, and you can pull it back out by hitting L1 and R1 once it's recharged, and it recharges by killing zombies. So basically, you should always have ammo for it, and it's really strong. It's pretty powerful. So now we're gonna build some points though, and I will use the new annihilator this round for you guys, and then we'll build some points, I guess, the next round. And I could still pack a punch this soon too, you know. We want to spin the box. We want to start spinning the box and see if we can please get monkey bombs. Damn it, game. Before I pack a punch the 
the M6 or whatever the hell it's called. I think we should give a fair try to trying to get the Wonder Waff. Get some Wonder Waff gameplay footage for that ass. And also, I want to get some more Gobble Gum. Probably get Double Tap. I've got lots to do still. Lots to do still. All right, we're going to let them all spawn in, and then I'm going to pull out the Annihilator. I'm going to stop killing them now. Dr. Maxis's office is right there. All right, Annihilator pistol coming out. As you can see, it just annihilates the zombies. Very good name for it. And it's like this. I don't know how long it stays like this, but, you know, I've played in the 20s and 30s and... I don't know, it doesn't seem to be getting any weaker as I play. It just destroys. And there you go. She's gone. Alright, box. Monkey bombs, please. Oh, you cannot do anything when it's hand. You cannot buy Perca Colas or anything when this is in your hand. So you have to actually switch out. Now that I've switched out, I cannot switch back to it until it's fully charged again. Even though it still had ammo in it. No, please. Although, guys, that's the Locust that I have fully upgraded. Got some cool camo on it. Iron Sights and uh, Quick Mags and Rapid Fire on it. It's a beast. I got that thing set up for when we do our very first Sniper Rifles Only Challenge. And I'd be interested to know what map you'd like to see that on. Shadows of Evil or the Giant or both. I don't give a crap. That's one of my favorite challenges to do. You know we're going to do it. So I got that gun all ready for it, man. It's going to be sick. And like I said, I have two original challenges already planned for Shadows of Evil that uh, you're not going to find anywhere on YouTube except for here unless someone beats me to the punch. So hopefully they don't. Hopefully I get it knocked out soon. But I just don't think we're at that point where we start doing challenges yet. There's still tutorials, guides, and just, you know, an introduction to the new zombies I still need to get done. Oh, double points. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get it. We get plenty of box spins. You see my guns charging up as I kill zombies. Alright, come on. Monkey bombs. Monkey bombs, please. Monkey bombs. Yes, liquid divinium. So there we go, guys. At the end of the game, I will definitely be stopping by the factory and you can watch me spin it and see if we can get some rare gum. It'll be quite nice. Hopefully we earn one more, maybe two more. I don't think I have any in the bank saved up. I think I spent them all. I had like seven. And I did a stream and I did quite a few spins. Got some cool stuff. Bye, Spawn of Fluffy. Ooh, Richthofen does not like the dog. Nice. Where the hell's Double Tap at again? I think it might be up there. We'll get that soon. Come on, Monkey Bombs, please. Please. Oh, it's going to be annoying. It's going to be like this again. Not going to give me the monkeys, are you, game? I'm going to get double tap real quick. Oh, yeah. While we're here, let's get this. Let's set up some more gum. It's always good to have some gum. These machines were definitely not here. This one is trolly as... Oh, no. This one's good. Ignored by zombies uh, for 10 seconds when activated. So, basically, like, uh, zombie blood, it's... Pretty damn useful. I've used it several times to get out of a jam or to revive a teammate. I actually played with viewers last night. Oh, yes. Yes. We're going to be able to do the Easter egg, guys. Nice. You've joined the video. The right video where we don't have to not do the Easter egg. We can actually do it. You need three to do it, so I'm going to save them. I can use my see no evil or whatever it's called to get out of a jam as opposed to monkey bomb. So, oh, boy. Don't jump down on top of me, please. Please don't do that, zombies. All right, cool. Cool. All right, so at the end of this round, it's definitely worth trying the Easter egg out. So we will. We're going to have plenty of points. we got to use the teleporters a little bit to do this. I've not tried this before, actually, so this is a first time for me. I know how to do it. I've seen how to do it. You guys are going to be joining me for... All right, what did we get there? we got a new level up, and that unlocked the XM53... Which means that gun, should I start playing with it, I'll be able now to add attachments to it and camo and stuff. So hopefully you're understanding how the XP system works. But I really want to know what happens when you press Deej and zombies. 
Hopefully you get some co kind of really cool reward. Alright, I don't want to kill all these dudes. I need to leave a few, actually, in case we accidentally zap them with a teleporter. So what I want to do is kind of run away from these guys. And let's go over to this teleporter first. So to do this Easter egg, you need to throw a monkey bomb in the teleporter, then get in the teleporter and teleport yourself. You need to do that three times, and I'll show you what it does. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. I finally get to try it. This is my first time getting monkey bombs on this map, and I've put a lot of hours into this map. So I think if we just throw this down, if I'm not mistaken, get in. I think that's how you do it. Let's hope so. Yes, turn one of the lights green. We need to turn all three of them green. Ah, free Perca Cola bottle. Just from using the teleporter. We got Mule Kick, so we get a third gun now. That's good. All right, we need to do this two more times. No worries, we got this man. That's a good run so far. We're only on round 13, but we're getting a lot accomplished early, which is good. Good luck today. Good luck, Laggins, at it again. Teleport with it. This should turn the second light green. It did. One more. Insta kill. Don't need it. Thanks, though, anyways. Then we just go to the last teleporter, do it one more time, and this should activate the Easter egg. We'll have to push a button on that uh, mainframe control panel when all light, all three lights are green. You can then press the button. And it'll do something pretty cool if you haven't seen it. Get ready, man. You're going to like this. All right, all three are green. You guys ready to see this? Press the button. Look at the, the head hit that, which reflected off the sign, which then melts the snow over there. And look what it is. It's freaking Deadshot Daiquiri. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to buy it. I'm going to have to get lucky and get a free perk drop. I think I might have a perk of cola that allows me to get an extra, I mean, a, um, a gun that allows me to get an extra perk slot, but I don't know for sure. Oh, I can't buy it, so I might have to keep using the teleporters to see if we can get another bottle. And then we can have five Perca-Colas. Uh, six Perca-Colas. But there's Deadshot Daiquiri. It can either be Deadshot or Stamina Up. So, very cool. That's how you do the Easter Egg. The only Easter Eggs we know of so far on this map. And now we have a decision to make. Do we go ahead and... We'll pack the MR6, right? And we'll use it for a little while. And then we'll keep spinning the box and see if we can get the Wonder Wall. We'll do both. We'll do both. So, let's start the next round. We need to pack a bunch of money. And, uh, actually, you know, yeah, that's right. We got meal kick. We don't need to worry about that. We'll do them both. We'll do them both at the same time because we have enough slots now. Hold three guns. That's not it. Nobody likes you. You know, this gun's not bad so far. The barrage, it's doing good things. It's got a lot of ammo, which is good. 100 in the magazine's ridiculous. God, that's a huge magazine. I didn't even realize that when I pack-a-punched it. Let's see if we can get the wonder off. It's been The box has been good to us so far. Oh, I thought that was it for a second. That is the Gorg. Oh, God. Worst LMG in the game. Don't pick it up if you get it. Unless you're desperate. It has the worst rate of fire I've ever seen in my life. It might as well be a semi-automatic. I think you could pull the trigger faster than that thing shoots out rounds. Just completely a troll gun, I think. I mean, it's strong. It'll kill zombies, but you can kill like two or three and then you have to move. Because it, that's how slow it fires. I don't get that. But I guess they all can't be good in the box. But there's not anything in the box that I've noticed that's like... That's like the, um... The War Machine or the SMR, really. Whoa, zombies, no! We're all set up. Please don't kill me. Please! We're doing well. Bowie knife's right there. I might buy that, too, to show you guys. I put a custom camo on the Bowie knife. It looks ridiculous. Actually, I think I might have changed it. I don't think I have the weaponized 115 on it anymore. We'll see. I'll probably be by it. All right, cool. Let's go pack a punch. The MR6. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There might still be... Yeah, there's still zombies spawning in. Let's wait. We're not ready yet. I like the pure pure noise. Pure pure pure. All right, that's probably my last zombie. Let's roll. I want to buy more gobble gum, but I don't want to waste the ones I have right now. We might just use them randomly for fun and get another gobble gum. Like I said, this is just a quick, like, playthrough. I don't, I'm not trying to get a high round on this. I just want to show you guys that have been asking for me to do a playthrough on it. Some love, man. So now we have the death and taxes. Only two things in life are guaranteed, and that's death and taxes. 
So there's your name for the uh, the pistols. Pretty cool. Someone in uh, my Twitch stream chat explained why it was called that. I would not ever heard that saying before, but it's pretty good and very true. Unless you live in a place you don't have to pay taxes. If so, let me come live with you. That'd be great. Come on, Wonderwolf. Come on. But yeah, it's Mustang and Sally, basically, guys. Oh, God. We got to grab that ray gun because that's good. It's good for now. It's not the uh, Wonder Wolf, but it's the ray gun. So we should have three guns. We do. Congratulations. We're winning at life. All right, I think I'm going to pop off one of these uh, gobble gums this round so you guys can see how it works. Just in case you haven't seen it before. And then we'll have one more use of it. I'm going to start using some teleporters in a minute as well. Uh, probably at the end of this round, we'll have a good amount of points saved up. And see if we can get another Coca-Cola bottle to spawn when I, we use the teleporter. Uh, you just get random drops, and apparently Coca-Cola bottles are one of those random drops. 